CTV News. This is Canada AM, Early Edition, with Marcy Ian. There is no doubt that the Internet has changed the world, but just how much of an impact has it had on the way that each of us lives, how we go through our daily life? Well, a recent Yahoo Canada study showed that in 1995, 4% of Canadians pay their bills online. Today, 71% of those bank uh, payments are made online. We're so entrenched in our online lives that 50% of men say they'd rather give up TV for a year than the Internet. 37% of women said they'd rather give up sex. Heather Cabot is the web life editor for Yahoo. She's with us this morning. Thanks for having me. That, that, we all had a bit of a you chat. You paused right paused there about, about the sex that, part. About the sex part, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I, I guess it just goes to show how, you know, how ingrained it's become. Uh, the Internet permeates every aspect of our lives. And I think oftentimes when we think about how the Internet has transformed what we do every day, people often think about work. Yeah. But 96% of Canadians, according to the study that we did here in, in Canada, 96% um, access the web at home. Only 44% access it at work. So people are using it to comparison shop. Yeah. They're using it to talk to their kids' teachers uh, at their schools. They're using it to meet other people. They're using it for dating. Yeah, how, how has it changed relationships? Well, I, there's no such thing as a blind date anymore, is, is no, it? No, right? that's so you true. Because you, you can find out anything about anybody before you even uh, sit down with them in person, thanks to search and also social media. But 30% of Canadians say they could not live without online dating sites. No, that's true. And, 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 and it's changed uh, parenting. It's changed family relationships. Relationships, you know how we relate to our kids. Well, and definitely. I mean, I think on the one hand, uh, there's a perception that it's the internet has made it more challenging to be a parent, parent because there's this other dimension that you now have to monitor. Uh, parents are certainly in Canada uh, making sure that they know where their children are going on the web. They're setting limits for how much time they spend online. Yeah. And yet, at the same time, it's a really powerful tool to stay in touch with your child. Yeah. To be able to quickly send them an instant message, or uh, if your child is away at college, to be able to Skype with them. Yeah. In, in Instead of maybe waiting for them to call you back, you could actually have a video chat and see their dorm room. So there are really cool things that you can do that actually can, in, in some ways, enhance your relationship with your child. And it's changed consumer behavior too, hasn't it? I mean, well, we've become much savvier shoppers, yeah. for sure. 71% of Canadians uh, research purchases online now compared to only 11% 15 years ago. And I think it's empowered us because we can comparison shop. We can also find out what our friends think about various brands and various products, which we could never have done before. In the old days, you would have had to pick up the phone or talk to someone on the street about it. Right now, you can go on Twitter. You can go on any social media site. You can be on an email list and find out what people are saying about any product that you're interested in buying. It's made balancing our online life and our offline life more difficult, though. It has. I think with all of this convenience and the ability to streamline a lot of things in our lives uh, comes the temptation for it to uh, be a little bit addicting. I mean, I think that there are certain people that sometimes it, it is a problem. In fact, we asked people in Canada about their digital boundaries. And, uh, you know, in Canada compared to the U.S., because we did a similar survey in, in the U.S., uh, people do seem to have more respect for certain things here, like meal times. So 27% of Canadians told Yahoo that they uh, will not use the internet at meal times. 27% said they won't use it in bed compared to only 19% of Americans. So there seems to be a little bit more of a respect here. I think Americans sometimes can be maybe a little bit more compulsive about it. But, you know, I think as we move into this age, and we're really at the dawn of this, particularly when it comes to mobile, uh, the fact that we can access the web access. from anywhere, yeah. I think you, we're going to see an evolution. And I think what will happen is people are going to have to make some tough decisions about how much time uh, they're really going to spend looking at a screen and whether or not that is taking away from important things in their real lives. Heather, thank you so much. Good to talk to you. Thank you so much for having me. Coming up next, a musical group with a sound...